This is a star chart of this time. Can you see or pick out Polaris, the North Star? First you find the Big Dipper and the cup points at the end of the handle of the Little Dipper, Polaris. So here's the handle of the Big Dipper and there's two points that point at the bright star right there is Polaris the North Star and this is the Little Dipper before we start let us look at what God says about the heavenly bodies in Genesis 1 14 and God said let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years in Jeremiah 10 2 thus saith the Lord learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen are dismayed at them Daniel 6.27 He that delivereth and rescueth he that worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in her, earth who hath delivered Daniel from the power of the lions Luke 21.11 and great earthquakes shall be in divers places and famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven verse 25 and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations and with perplexity the sea and waves roaring Now this video is about Revelations 12, 3, but we'll read the first five verses. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold a great red dragon, and having seven heads and ten horns, seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. So most of the videos that I've watched on Revelations 12.1, they say that the man-child here is Jesus. I disagree with that for two reasons. First reason is Jesus was not caught up. Jesus ascended. The second reason is that if this was about the birth of Jesus, then it would have happened 2,000 years ago in the sky. God wouldn't be doing it now for the birth of Jesus. I believe that 2,000 years ago, the signs that showed for the birth of Jesus, the head of the church, now his body is going to be born for he is the head of the body we are bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh we are his body this slide shows some of the constellations the lesser sheepfold Draco Corona Borealis 
boots, booties, Leo, and Virgo. So let us look at Revelations 12, 3 again. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. At one time, Drago was known as the red dragon, because one of its stars is a pulsating burial star characterized by very red colors, a red giant star. Now, most star charts only show Drago's head to have only four stars, but it actually does have seven stars. The ten horns are the ten horns of booties. Booties generally means herdsman, but it gets its name from the Latin bovis, or a cow. Also called the great horn in Chinese astro astro astronomy. The seven crowns is the stars in Corona Borealis, which even looks like a crown. Now take a look at this slide. You can see Drago the dragon is trying to encircle the lesser sheepfold, today known as the Little Dipper or Little Bear. Drago is trying to cut off God's people. The people of God keep checking to see if the gate is open, the stream of stars going up the handle. Yet the gate Polaris, the North Star, is still closed and they continue to struggle against the dragon. They are here on earth in human bodies fighting against the red dragon, Satan, who is surrounding them. They constantly watch for the breaker to release them from this world. They will be changed in the twinkling of an eye. At the end of the handle of the lesser sheepfold is Polaris, the North Star. Polaris is the gatekeeper and won't allow anyone to leave the sheepfold until the breaker, the Messiah, opens the gate so that all those that are married to him can be caught up, raptured. Verse 5 said her child was caught up. Micah 2.13 says, The breaker is come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out by it. And their king shall pass before them and the Lord on the head of them. The axis of the earth goes through a procession much like the axis of a spinning top wobbles around a circle. It takes 26,000 years for this procession of the north celestial pole of the earth to describe a complete circle through the heavens. Now this will begin to get interesting. Over 4,000 years ago, at the time of the flood of Noah, the axis of the earth, the north celestial pole, was aimed right at Draco. Two thousand years ago, at the birth of Christ, it was halfway point to, per to Polaris, the north star, it was halfway there. Today, it is pointing very close to Polaris. Now look at this story here. The first time this has happened in 26,000 years. Spiritually, our Messiah will soon be coming to be the center of our universe, to break us out of these bodies. We will be changed. After the bride is caught up, all hell will be turned loose on the earth for the dragon Satan was cast out of heaven to the earth. I believe the last prophetic warning has come and all that is left is judgment. We have little time to repent and turn to the word, your first love. 
there is no life in a church system, the systems will all perish. If you believe their dogma is over God's word, then you will have to give your life in the great tribulation that is about to start. No one knows when Jesus was born. So there was an interesting thing I found back in 2 BC that wise men could have followed the bright star that this would have made in the sky. We have Leo, the lion. We have Jupiter, the king planet or body. And we have Regulus, the king star. And right now the sun is on the king star. So in a matter of a few months, Jupiter will cross over Regulus three times. <laughs>